Hey guys, Gameboy3800 here once again, and this is going to be a very quick video regarding which video card you should try to be looking for in your Dell Precision M6400 or Dell Precision M6500. Both have very good graphics card options from NVIDIA and ATI, but the ATI is widely more available, but the NVIDIA one is pretty well known to be the best power possible if you want. Uh, like no compromises for this old platform, or if you're trying to find a used unit, which unit should try to find with which video card. And these are pretty cheap, so they're good to be on the lookout for, and they perform great. I highly recommend them. As for the games, we have five games, I'm pretty sure, so let's get into it. First game is The Forest. This is an indie title, and it was much better able to utilize the power of the Fire Pro card, because it's essentially... Uh, 5870 mobile card, which is a great chip. The Quadro is essentially a GTX 480M mobile part, which is still pretty good. As you can see, it's higher than a GTX 280M or twin 3870Ms in Crossfire, but it uh, fails to match the Fire Pro. Next up, we have Borderlands 1 at high settings. Uh, the Quadro was able to be fully, fully utilized here, and it has a pretty good gap to the Fire Pro. I'm not exactly sure why. They seemed uh, pretty even in other titles, but I guess uh, it's able to better utilize CUDA in this game. I guess because it's GameWorks title, NVIDIA sponsored, I don't know. Next game is Borderlands 2, funny enough. And now we see a more even playing field where they're both essentially equal. You can see that the GTX 280M is getting uh, 30 FPS even, just about. And both options for the video card are good in this platform. Now, as for the testing platform, this was a Dell Precision M6500, and they both had 16 gigs of RAM. Uh, next game is Bioshock 1, Ultra Settings, and you can see they're kind of equal here too, just a slight edge to the Quadro. But the Fire Pro does a great job keeping up with it, despite this being another NVIDIA game. So, yeah, you can see a bit of a pattern here, but the next game is sure to spur things up a bit. My channel has gotten known for playing some Beam and G, so let's see how that game does. Here we see that the Quadro is actually significantly behind, and I honestly have no idea why. It should have a lot more power. It should be able to better utilize its 2 gigabyte frame buffer, but for whatever reason, BMG doesn't seem to be optimized for these old Quadro drivers, despite the drivers being newer than what's offered for the Fire Pro drivers. So I honestly don't know, maybe it's a fluke, but I did the same testing methodology on both cases, so I don't know. Anyways, I hope this video helped. If you guys have found it at all enjoyable or helpful, then please do go ahead, leave a like, favorite, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks, Gamboya. I'll see you in the future.